Knee Scanning Technique Please have the 2N USA 3D app downloaded and all the necessary materials before beginning. iPad, Structure Sensor, Sensor Bracket, 2N USA Footplate, Physical Landmark Marking Material. Start by adding a new patient. This will prompt you to input the required fields and specs of the patient, such as weight, height, age, and so on. Once you have set your field requirements, you can now press the Save Information button and all the patient information will be saved to your scanning library. Now, go into your settings in the 2N 3D app and establish your scan box placement strategy and your email recipients. In your settings, you'll find an option titled Scan Box Placement Strategy. Once this has been located, you'll change the preferred selection to Automatic. This new option allows you to forget about sizing and positioning of the scanning border box. Once the scan box placement strategy has been set to Automatic, scroll down further to the option of Upload Target. Here, you'll need to define email as your method of file uploading. When this has been established, you'll need to drop directly below the Upload Target option to Default Email Recipients. Here, you'll input as your designated email recipient, eScan at 2NUSA.com. Once you determine your box placement strategy and designate an Upload Target email, we encourage you to take some time and mark the landmarks, fibula head, center of patella, medial condyle, along with any deformity, scar tissue, and any other area of concern with some type of physical marker as shown here. Start by selecting the desired extremity that needs to be scanned. The green start button will now appear. Push the start button. This will now prompt the sizing parameters to appear for whichever extremity you've chosen. You can use the scroll option on the left-hand side of the screen to dial in these parameters to fit your subject. The app is set to start a scan from a straight-on vantage point, but if you prefer to start on the lateral or medial side, you can change the rotation of your view to that desired vantage point. After your selected size appropriately fits the subject's extremity, you can start the scan. This will prompt a screen that generates your selected sizing borders along with a three-dimensional box that encapsulates the subject and its surroundings. At this point, you will need to find your appropriate distance from which you're standing in relation to the subject. You should be able to highlight your subject's extremity in an orange and red pixelation. If this does not appear, you are either too close or too far away. Once you have obtained an optimal distance to capture the scan, you will again press the Start button to officially start your scan. When you begin your scan, you will see that your scanning subject is appearing on the scanning screen in a white pixelation. You will proceed to capture the subject in a full 360-degree global view. After you are confident this has been accomplished, you can press the red Done button. At this point, the app will automatically generate a full rendering of what you have scanned and you can review in full by swiping your finger across the screen. Make sure you have captured the full anatomy and your scan does not have any holes or gaps. If you are not confident in the quality of scan, simply start over following the same steps. Any scan where part of the anterior aspect of the leg is missing will be rejected. Any scan where more than 50% of the posterior aspect of the leg is missing will be rejected. Review your scan in full from a 360 degree perspective. You can also attach pictures and notes. After you are satisfied with your scan, pictures, and notes, you can proceed to the order form. Complete the order form and attach it to your scan. Once all required fields are complete and you are satisfied with the options you've chosen, you'll need to provide the physical measurements to verify the accuracy of the scan. You can note these in the special instructions on the order form. After the order form is completed, you'll press the X in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. This will allow you to save the form and proceed to submission. When all fields are complete, you are ready to submit your form and scan.